Hello guys, my name is Abu and I am a developer for my store. And welcome to my store's product release new number two. And today I'll show you what have we done in the first week of the new decade 2020s. Okay, let's start. And after finalize our product plan for the first quarter, we were starting to do it. And this week uh, we have done two parts. The first one is fix some issues of our current product, and the second one is continue to continually to integrate uh, to create new package to compatible with Magento Commerce. Okay, so let me lay down everything we done. The first is issue. This week we have already fixed and released 29 issues on our sick package and all of them is happened on our POS system okay and I'll show you the biggest issue okay the first one is the biggest session on POS it means when you log in on our POS system and try to open new session and then you log out to go somewhere or like to end your working day and the next day you come back and log in on the same POS computer and with the same stuff but when but you didn't but you didn't close your last session but when you open the POS is um, still to ask you to open the session I mean the session will be duplicated and is the easy and we have already fixed it this week the second bug is display wrong opening balance session on POS uh, this balance is the cash amount that you put on your cash drawer when you open the session at the beginning of working day the third one is like sometime when you try to create new customer account on our POS system but when you go to the Magento backend you couldn't find uh, you, you find that some of your customer account is disappearing for no reason and yeah and this we have already fixed and the last one is when you config some configurable configurable product to like enable the back order for this product but and then you go to our POS and try to create new order with this product. But you can see, uh, but you mm, rely that it couldn't couldn't be shipped uh, immediately. And this is the four biggest issues. Okay, let's go to second part. Is integrate Magento point of sale system and much sorry base store point of sale system and magento with voice feature if you are one of our customers you know that on our loyalty features we have one loyalty called river point and we implement it for four package and for the new package to compatible with magento commerce as you know that Magento Commerce, they already have the report feature. So we don't want to like create uh, the same feature with um, for the Magento Commerce. It will be like um, create some conflict and make some hardship for you to use both our system and Magento system. So we decided to like remove our point feature on this package and try to integrate the Magento report feature with our POS system okay and we keep almost a feature uh, almost a function of the report on the front end and back end and move it on uh, to our point of sale system and let me show you how it's work now now okay at first if you want to use the report uh, feature on Magento, you should enable it. Okay, you have to enable it. Okay, you can go to Magento configuration on the sales section and 
Okay, let me see, let me see. Uh, sorry, the customer session, okay. And you will see the report here. And you have to enable the report functionality. Yeah, to use the report on our POS system. Okay, and after you enable the report feature, you have to do another thing is the config the reward chain exchange rate and this is um as you can see here i have already configured two rule two rate sorry and one is step spending rate and here you can see for every point the customer spend it will like degree one dollars to their cock and the second one is the earning rate as you can see here, for every thirty dollars U.S. dollars, the customer spend uh, to buy sub item on your system, they will earn one point. Okay. So after finish this uh, read, okay, I'll show you a customer. Okay, you can see this customer. It's a roller coaster at example.com and I will go to the detail okay you can see here she's already have 55 points balance okay let's go to our peer system at first uh, I'll show you how customer can spend point to create a new order the first one you add the new item to call and then choose the customer let me search, uh, sorry, roll me cost. Okay, choose this customer. Try to check out. And on the total block, you can see we have the river point here. And when you click on this, it will show you um, how many point balance that the customer have. And here you see that she have 55 point and it it means she has the $55 respectively respectively okay and you use the report okay and after you use the point you will see that the amount uh, that the customer spend will be decrease and uh, will be subtract uh, directly on the Half total and the total is go to zero and complete the order. Okay, you want you can print the receipt if you want. I will also cancel it. Okay, and like check the order history. Can you see here the total bit is zero, grand total is zero, and this customer has already used. Chain a 52 river point to spend uh, on this order. Okay, let's check on the customer detail. I will reload it. Okay, you see here, she have only three point value left. Okay, so that the way the customers spend point to create new order the next one i show you how a customer can like can earn point when they create new order okay first i will add some item here okay so the total amount of this order is 66 dollars and choose the same customer account and try to check out okay so at this step I will not uh, spend any report for this order but pay totally pay it with the cash so I accept 66 cash amount here and complete the order okay and when you see an order history you see that uh, this all this grand total other uh, grand total this order is 66 
and the cash amount that customer paid for you is CT62. And when you see on the receipt, okay, at the bottom of the receipt, you see that it show that this customer will earn two point if they finish the invoice uh, because uh, this order is already complete it means i have already created invoice for it uh, so the customer will earn two point for this order and i will try to check if i can again so she have three point here okay try to reload it Okay, so the port is five now. It means she she was increased two points. Okay, so that the way to, to the customer to spending and earning point. If they create, uh, if you create new custom a new order on our your system, and you can see on the the port configuration. There are some other configuration configuration you can configure to use with our your system, like here registration point. It means when you put, for example, five point here. It means when the customer create new account, they will earn five point immediately. The same if you put a point for new Leicester sign up, and it has some conflict to customer when they inviting to their friend or the new account to or the new customer. It can support you when you have some like affiliate campaign, okay? And the customer they also can earn the point when the inviting customer, uh, they are inviting customer. Uh, create a new invoice and finish new order here okay so this is the end of our video my video so thanks for your watching and if you have any question please feel free to send us and this is my store for release uh, news and i am able thank you